When it comes to the tabletop world of Warhammer 40k, we typically think about painting small, tiny, detailed miniatures. But some models just don't fit that mold. Primarchs. Huge centerpiece characters that command entire armies, rich as much in lore, backstory and narrative as they are in immense detail. Currently, Games Workshop produce five such characters for 40k, but this is Mortarion, Demon Primarch of Nurgle, and the Death Guard. Hey guys, welcome to the first video in a new series on the channel where we will be deep diving into the characters and factions of the Warhammer 40k setting and their miniatures. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these and leave us a comment below of which character you want to see next. At present in the timeline, Mortarion stands as the greatest demon prince of the chaos god Nurgle. Though before the events of the Horus Heresy, Mortarion was once simply known as the Death Lord. His homeworld, the toxic world of Barbarus, a planet steeped in toxic miasma where the air was poisonous and the planet was ruled by cruel necromancer overlords. As a child, Mortarion was discovered and raised by one of these warlords, who kept him isolated from the other human inhabitants. As Mortarion grew stronger and built a tolerance for the toxicity of the planet, he developed an intense hatred for the tyrannical rulers of Barbarus, eventually leading a rebellion against them fighting to free the human population. However, his adoptive father always stayed out of reach, hiding in the highest, most toxic regions of the planet where Mortarion couldn't survive. It was at this point that the Emperor of Mankind arrived. He offered Mortarion help, but Mortarion, prideful and determined, wanted to defeat his adopted father alone. Though, in the end, Mortarion failed, and the Emperor had to step in, saving Mortarion's life and killing the Warlord. Reluctantly and with hurt pride, Mortarion accepted the Emperor as his true father and agreed to follow him and lead the Death Guard Legion in the Emperor's Great Crusade, though this act built a growing resentment within Mortarion. In the events building to the Horus Heresy, Mortarion and his fleet became trapped in the warp by Nurgle, the Chaos God of Disease. As his soldiers succumbed to a horrific plague, Mortarion was forced to accept Nurgle's offer to save them. This decision led to the Death Guard's transformation into diseased, immortal servants of Nurgle, solidifying Mortarion's fall into corruption. Mortarion pledged himself to Nurgle and was transformed into a demon prince, forever corrupted and bound to the very forces he once despised. So this is Mortarion now in the tabletop world of Warhammer 40k, which Tony from the team has done an incredible job of painting to our silver level for our client's commission. The miniature perfectly depicts Nurgle and Mortarion as a demon prince with loads of different details that clearly show he is infected and diseased. One of my favorite points is the wings, which you can't help but notice with that lovely cold bluish tint towards the base going all the way up to like an orangey sepia kind of tone. It's almost as if the infection is kind of spreading across the wings, giving it a bit of an iridescent kind of feel, uh, not to mention all the little spots and pustules that are across its surface. When it comes to Mortarion's armor, he has a very, very thick set of armor plates across. It's very segmented, almost like a beetle, which I do really like. And it kind of nods to that disease corrupted feel of him. Um, with all of those armor panels, they've all been edge highlighted and shaded through multiple stages, including all of the little details like the craters and pock marks, plus the disease parts of the armor. Um, and there's some really nice highlighting work that's been done across all of the little details and gold work, including the Death Guard Legion symbol that's on his left knee. A really nice nod back to the Horus Heresy and the original Legion symbol. As we spoke about in the earlier part of the video, Mortarion is the Lord of Decay or Lord of Death and visually and facially this model screams that. He has an extremely gaunt face with that iconic rebreather that you can see on the faceplate uh, with that horrible sort of mucus or pus that's just stretched between them. I love the fact that this has been painted with a sickly green to really make that pus stand out on the miniature and it contrasts the purple cow extremely well. All in all, and a great representation for Nurgle. 
Accompanying Mortarion, we have some of Nurgle's disciples in the form of some little Nurglings and flies that are just carrying various pieces of Mortarion's equipment and sigils and symbols to Nurgle. A really great addition to the base on the miniature, which adds a lot of interest and adds something extra to create a bit of a scene. If you've been impressed by the painting of this Mortarion and would like a commission from us at Siege Studios for your character, then do not hesitate in going to the description of this video where you will find a link to our website to get a quote from us. Finally, from all the team here at Siege, a massive thank you for watching the video and I hope to see you on the next one. Take care.